What's up guys, it's Trevor back with another video and in today's video we're going to show you how to download Droid 4X for your computer. Basically what Droid 4X is, it's the best Android emulator. It's going to allow you to download games, apps, and not have to run them on your Android the phone or on your tablet because we don't want to run through data or you don't want to have your phone running through battery life if you're a hardcore gamer. If you want to do this for uh, app reviews, it's probably the best way to do it because you can record your screen instead of doing it off your phone. And this works for Android or iOS as it says right here. So you're going to open up the program. So now you see it's installing onto your Windows 7 PC. This will work on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Um, like I said, it's the best virtual Android simulator. So you can do gameplays, app reviews, and you can do it strictly from your computer. Because who wants to really review an app on a 7-inch tablet or a 5-inch Samsung device. It's great to be able to have all your apps on your phone, but sometimes on a bigger display, it's just better for gaming and it's better for a lot of the apps. So I'll be back when this uh, completely installs and I'll show you how to set up the Google Play Store and everything like that. We'll be right back. So now you can see it installing everything. Everything took about seven minutes top, so it ain't going to take you too long it just depends on your network speed and how fast your computer is and then you're just gonna wait until it's done and then hit next next and then sign into your Google Play Store account so you can start downloading applications and I'll show one app that is actually running on my computer so you guys know it actually works and you hit next, next, and next. And then you get to the Google uh, sign in page. And I'll sign in and be right back. And no, I'm not going to accept any of that stuff because I already done it on my, on my phone. So hit OK, log in. And now you can actually see Google Play Store running on your computer. And I'll show an app that's actually currently working on my computer. Here we go. And now you can see I have the Kick app running on my computer. And this is a way for me to not use a lot of data because if you're using a lot of applications that require internet, they will run through your data plan. But now you see the Kick app is on my computer because a lot of people ask, how do you get Kick on your computer? Well, you can do it through this emulator. And all you do is you go to www.droid4x.com. I'll put a link in the description box so you guys can click on that and take you to the place where you can download it. And the main reason why I got this is so I can do gameplay videos and commentary. But you see the app does work. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. I am Trevor. This is my video on how to use this emulator. It's very simple. There's other emulators out there. But when I try to download a game, the plan here, I'll say this. The game did not load. So I'm going to try to reload it. And we'll be right back. So this is one of those games that I would say is definitely not recommended for the emulator because you cannot use the left and right buttons, like your control buttons, to turn. You basically have to use the mouse and use the steering wheel to, to move left and right. But from what it, the game is for itself, Asphalt 8, it, it's pretty good. It's a pretty badass game. but. Like I said, I've been trying to play a few games on the emulator and they just don't seem to be all that great. Like, they're not optimized for it. Because the keyboard isn't the way it should be played. So, just letting you guys know that I'm just using the mouse to control the steering wheel and I'm, I'm doing okay. But there's no way for me to even control the brake. But that is Asphalt 8 being played on the uh, computer. I got fourth place. 
but at the end of the day um, I'm gonna keep trying it out see if there's a, any other games that really are optimized for it maybe like a first-person shooter game or something because uh, right now it's not looking too great I'll see you guys in the next one